if you talk about developers, uh, what do we, what do we really need from them? What we uh, need uh, they are. We of course want to developers to ask less questions about typical uh, vulnerabilities like XSS or XRF and so on. Uh, we also want developers to be aware about security uh, processes and controls. And uh, of course, it would be great uh, if developers simply read our guides uh, and uh, to make possible for them uh, to help us and uh, to improve security in, in the products by themselves. Because you know, uh, it's, not, it's not a secret that uh, uh, in most companies, uh, there are really a few uh, people in the security team, and of course, uh, almost every uh, company have uh, developers and so on. So it's important uh, to, uh, to, uh, to make developers help themselves. <laughs> and uh, it looks like we, we really want uh, uh, developers to, be, uh, to become uh, security hackers. Uh, in case of uh, interest in uh, security and uh, deep understanding of uh, uh, how uh, everything works. There is a problem. Uh, in most cases, uh, do they, do the developers uh, really know if our team ever exists in company? Uh, I think that uh, there are a lot of cases and there are a lot of companies where uh, some developers simply doesn't know that, oh, we have security guys, we can ask them for help. They try to, try to, to make uh, decisions without any, uh, any consultation with the security team, and uh, after that, there, there is a problem. So what we can do with it? Let's take a look on uh, typical, typical uh, d first days of, uh, of a new developer and company. Uh, of course, the first stage is uh, some kind of interview, and then we have uh, some kind of bootcamp or welcome meeting, and, uh, and then uh, begins the real work. <laughs> the real work begins with a cup of coffee, or maybe uh, a lot of cups of coffee. Uh, then we have uh, the first lines of code, uh, some kind of product meeting or, or, or something like that. And at the end, we have, oh, we have the security there. We have some kind of security review and, uh, of course, the first security issues in the code of this developer. So that's a problem. Um, let's Let's... Let's think, uh, let's think how can we improve it. Uh, and we need, uh, we need to make more bridges between us and uh, to make more communications ways between developers and security team. Uh, let's uh, look more deeply in the first day of uh, typical, uh, of, on the first typical developer days in our company. Uh, let's start from welcome meeting. If you have welcome meeting in your company, uh, it's very simple. Uh, you can simply go there and uh, tell new, new employers about yourself, about security team. Uh, just five minutes and uh, it, will get, it will make a really, really good result uh, in case of such uh, little time. If you don't have uh, ever five minutes uh, to go on every welcome meeting, simply ask uh, some <laughs> someone else, some speaker on this welcome meeting to introduce security team uh, for new employers. Uh, it's uh, it's great if you have a internal internal staff portal uh, where all information about employers uh, are presented. And uh, if, uh, it's also great if uh, this internal security portal has uh, API because, you know, uh, everything is better when, when we have API. And uh, you can simply uh, write some kind of 
Python, Python code or, and simply monitor for a new developer's presence in your company. And uh, after you get some new ones, uh, you simply can uh, automatically send them a welcome, a welcome letter from, from security team, uh, like this one. Uh, so what we have here? Dear Mike, uh, welcome to our team. Uh, we here uh, write um, beautiful, uh, functional, and so on products, but what is more important, we also try to write uh, secure ones. So please take, uh, please find uh, some time and uh, read uh, our guides, which, uh, which are prepared especially for you. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, we also will glad to help you in, uh, in security questions. And uh, feel free to contact us sincerely, your product security team. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, nowadays, we have uh, another uh, collaboration uh, uh, software, tools, and so on, like messengers. So messengers is almost everywhere. One of such corporate messengers is Slack. And uh, it gives you a lot of opportunities to communicate with your target aud audience. Uh, for example, it's easy to create some channels. And uh, the first one is for asking them questions. It's, uh, it's stack overflow, but in built in in your messenger uh, you can promote this uh, channel to to developers and uh, it was it will be very easy for them uh, to ask you questions because you know uh, some kind of people become lazy uh, another cool opportunity uh, cool channel uh, it's new security uh, it's a convenient way to propaganda oh sorry to to make more awareness uh, about security, about security culture, uh, about news from uh, from this realm, uh, about new vulnerabilities, and so on, and of course uh, special uh, special updates from uh, central security team, and uh, it's it's a great place uh, for that. Another another thing that you can use in messengers is uh, of course. Uh, some kind of security bots, which you, which can uh, notify you about new vulnerabilities and so on. And uh, these bots also can notify uh, developers about new vulnerabilities in their code. They need to fix it. And uh, the, the last one uh, point is very simple. Uh, Many software has uh, some kind of uh, loading screen messages, and Slack also, also has it. So simply put some uh, important uh, and uh, light messages about security in it, and uh, these messages will uh, see every, every person who will restart the Slack. So it's very simple. And let's take a look on uh, another important uh, way uh, to communicate with uh, with developers, uh, as you can see, is uh, simply a uh, bug report in uh, bug tracker called Jira. What we can see here is uh, on the top there is a banner uh, which we can use to show to every developers and uh, and other persons who use uh, your bug tracker, uh, and uh, we can promote. Uh, Security guides, uh, security guides, and uh, almost uh, our uh, propaganda security channel in Slack. But what is important is not to make uh, such uh, such promotion aggressive, because you know uh, after such uh, activities, someone from developers or maybe some some big part of from 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 them. Uh, uh, will take some uh, some uh, bad feedback on, uh, with you, and uh, they simply try to uh, uh, to ignore it in the future. So t so please take attention on it. Uh, another thing that we can see on this uh, screenshot, as we use uh, 
separate vulnerability type uh, for uh, security issue reports. It's called vulnerability and uh, has a red icon. It's important because we can uh, uh, increase uh, visibility of uh, security issues to developers. We almost can uh, do a separate workflow for it. Uh, and of course, it's important to uh, make security reports uh, as much as possible detailed. Uh, you should uh, provide uh, steps to reproduce, uh, risk analysis, and uh, some kind of some kind of uh, recommendation how to fix it. And uh, but also all uh, links from this. Uh, Tickets should lead to your security guides. Let's summarize. Uh, today we have a lot of uh, channels which we can use to communicate with uh, developers. Most of, most of them are really simpler to implement. And uh, let's, let, let's look uh, in more detail in uh, internal security portal. Uh, this portal is uh, one of the most important uh, place of your virus uh, power in your company. So, of course, it uh, should be it should have a short and easy to remember address, and everybody in your company uh, should know about it. Uh, we can place here uh, links to your security guys. Uh, quick links to self-checking uh, services. As already mentioned, uh, it's, it's not a secret that right now uh, in most companies there are really a few people from security team if, in case of a uh, big number of developers, for example. So it's very important to make uh, scalable uh, self-checking uh, services for them. And uh, that's all. Uh, on this portal, you, you, sh you can also uh, place uh, contact information. It's very important part because uh, as many uh, opportunities to, to, to contact with you, you will have. Uh, so you will uh, have uh, convenient ways uh, to developers to find you, uh, to find you in email, in Slack, and so on. Of course, as this uh, portal should be should looks active, uh, so you can place some kind of uh, security block in it. And uh, what else? As for me, uh, I think that uh, security uh, should be visible and uh, transparent in company. It's we shouldn't take uh, secrets and uh, shouldn't make uh, secrets from our projects. So. Simply try to to make visible your current projects uh, to to all staff and uh, put links on it. As I already said, uh, guides are a very important part. It's a really brick. Uh, it's very important brick in your uh, awareness program. So let's let's take a look on how it can be done. If, the, if we talk about structure, it's good to separate uh, guides for uh, target audience, like uh, for uh, mobile developers, uh, for uh, web, and so on. But also, uh, you can uh, put in it uh, some common topics, and uh, of course, some more concrete uh, part about typical issues like Overstop 10. Uh, it's a great idea to use uh, some uh, experience from uh, press, uh, press and uh, social medias. For example, you can use uh, some kind of cards to, to, to show information to your developers. It's, uh, it's a little convenient way to, to show complex information. You know, developers are also humans, and they don't like to read uh, long, uh, long read articles. So yes, you should uh, 
make uh, it simply shorter uh, and easy to read in 10 or 15 minutes. Of course, content should be searchable because uh, you know it's very often situation when uh, uh, you have uh, internal knowledge base, for example, Confluence or Wiki, and uh, there are a lot of articles about, for example, XSS in it. Uh, and most of them are outdated. So it would be great if all people who want to search for XSS in your internal knowledge base will uh, navigate to your portal, not to another one. And uh, what else? Of course, you should integrate uh, some kind of self check and quizzes uh, and feedback form in it. If you talk about content, uh, you can start from high, high level best practices from uh, unification, login, uh, input validation, output encoding, and so on. And then you can uh, put some uh, more specific stuff about, uh, uh, sorry, about typical threats and mitigations, uh, like OWASP top 10 and OWASP top 10 mobile. Of course, it will be great if you will put some uh, information about your internal security processes. For example, how do you manage vulnerabilities in your company? And uh, what's important? I know at least two big companies uh, where security guys were prepared, were, uh, were prepared from the scratch. So, you know, it takes a lot of resources, a lot of time to make a really good uh, security guide. Uh, so, these guys made it from the scratch. Uh, and I think that there are a lot of other companies uh, which uh, are trying uh, to make themselves uh, security guys. So, please, don't make such mistakes. You don't need to write uh, yet another security guide from the scratch. Because OWASP already uh, made a really big part of it for you. For example, uh, if you talk about high-level best practices, there is a really good uh, documentation project called OWASP Proactive Controls. Uh, another one, OWASP Tom 10, famous project about typical security issues in uh, web, application, uh, web applications. So you can simply combine it uh, and add some specific, specific uh, things about your organization or maybe technologies, technologies which you are used. And that's all. You, you have basically normal security guide which you can, which you can use uh, to educate your developers. Simply, tr simply try existing uh, projects from OWASP. Uh, every education process and courses uh, should have uh, some kind of attestation or test in it uh, to help uh, students, or in our case developers, uh, understand how well they uh, know uh, this course. So, it, will, it, it is great to have uh, security tests and attestation or ever, ever knowledge uh, platform in your company. Of course, to measure how developers uh, read, really read the guides, because you can do it by, uh, by counting vulnerabilities in the final stage, but it's more convenient to uh, try to measure uh, simply by test results. Of course, uh, uh, as I already said, uh, developers uh, don't like to read long reads, and they don't like to pass uh, really long tests. So your test, uh, your exam, uh, should be uh, should not take a lot of time to pass it, and uh, it it's very interesting, but we should it shouldn't be boring because uh, it's very popular situation when you try to pass some. Uh, survey or some exam, and uh, on the uh, middle of it, uh, you you think, oh, I I don't ever interested in it. So it should be, it should takes uh, a, a little of time, and it should not be boring. 
And in our days, we have uh, really cool uh, free software projects like Moodle. It's a uh, full featured uh, learning management system which you can use uh, to make uh, really powerful courses to developers with uh, additional materials, with tests, with uh, badges, and so on. So simply use it. Another cool project is, uh, for example, OWASP Security and Knowledge Framework, uh, which gives you not only opportunity to use uh, OWASP uh, application security verification standard, but also to, uh, to teach your developers how to write secure code. Uh, in the final of such education, uh, we will have uh, some kind of uh, developer profile. It's very important because we can, we can use it, uh, we can use such profile uh, to make some kind of analytics uh, in field of security of new releases. For example, uh, if new release or maybe totally new product uh, was written by okay, uh, was written by developers team uh, who's ever not uh, passed any exams uh, from from you. It's a good point to think that it, it should it will not a really secure product. So developers profile will help you uh, and will give you information about it about developers uh, who write the code. Uh, if, if, if talk more formal, there, are, there is a really cool and uh, uh, full-featured uh, documentation project from OWASP called OWASP SAM. I hope everybody from you knows about it. And uh, there is a section in it and about education and guidance, which will help you to, to make some kind of roadmap uh, of your uh, awareness program. And uh, for example, uh, metrics from it we, which we, you, can, you can use is uh, how many developers really read uh, security guides. And it will be great if uh, more than half of your developers team will read it, for example. Uh, and m m less formal uh, metric uh, is, for example, less questions about typical issues in uh, your communication channels. If you talk about uh, next big steps, uh, I want to put attention in the following uh, steps and things. The first one is uh, capture the flag uh, events. It's very, very uh, good for security culture. And uh, from our experience, it simply uh, boosts up uh, interest in security in your company in, in a lot of uh, percent. Uh, Security ninjas and security security champions. A lot of talks about it. It's really a cool opportunity, and uh, it's a, it's a really next big step for you uh, to make it. Takeaways: uh, Application security, product security, of course, should be closer to developers from the first days of their work, and. Uh, it will be great to help developers uh, to make secure applications and to make possible for them uh, help you in your duties. Uh, and of course, let, the let uh, developers be uh, security champions, let them to be uh, hackers, security hackers. And uh, of course, it should be fun. It's uh, my personal list for you uh, to to, to watch on ne nearest weekend, or it, if, it will be great if you watch it with your developers. Uh, it's hackers movies, but I think that these ones are good. Uh, so simply try to spend a time with, uh, the, with your developers uh, watching uh, these movies. So thank you, and uh, if you have any questions, it, I will be glad to ask you. Answer it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can move back so you can <laughs> take a look on this slide, another, another one. <laughs> uh, 
So, thank you. Thank you, Tavas, for sharing your knowledge. 